hello fam welcome back to our channel i hope that one day me too i will open my mouth and say oh my country god bless nigeria and i'll be proud to be called a nigerian did you see what the american seal uh, navy seal six did because of one singular citizen they came straight down to nigeria and did commando to just to save their country their citizen honestly it's worth applauding but that's not the news we're actually giving you today it's the fact that even the Americans are beginning to see things that we are seeing in Nigeria. And it's really pathetic. They're beginning to speak up. And honestly, I do not want to use that word that I'm, I'm, I'm not proud to be a Nigerian. I'm hoping that one day, all of us will look back and say we are proud. But I hope that will not end up as a wishful thinking. But before we go into the news proper for the analysis, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, an international journalist has responded to Mojisola Kennedy Ali Macaulay's statement. That's the lawmaker, the Lagos state lawmaker. We are the lawmaker who is also known as Mama Amuwa. I'm word of him, said that most Nigerian youth are always high on drugs. Ah, oh, Nigerian youth, you have, you get, we have all suffered. The Lord will deliver us. Let's continue. In a video circulating in social media and rip on and on report media by media outlets, the lawmaker, who is a member of the Lagos State House of Assembly representing Amu Ordofin, said the social media platform has done more harm than good to the youth and that she would hardly allow her children to make use of phones. That's your personal opinion and that's a personal choice as well. Let's continue. She also stated that most of the youth are giving excuses for their joblessness as many of them can become a Tyler as your son or your daughter is. A plumber as your son or your daughter is. Let's continue. And get a brand for themselves rather than always being high on drugs. Can you imagine the person we voted in. Let's continue. Now, now the um the international journalist, the American journalist, now continue. And I said, look, hmm, actually, I'm not sure that official government corruption has left young Nigerians with enough money to buy drugs, even if they were inclined. All evidence suggests they want a police force that protects rather than exploits them. Too bad. But let's continue. Taking social, taking to social media, Jim Clancy, that's an international journalist and a former re correspondent on CNN International, reacted to the lawmaker's comment, expressing how he's not so sure if government corruption will allow young Nigerians to have enough money to buy drugs, even if they want to. He's actually taking a sweep at her. And yes, now they are part of leadership. Let's continue. According to him, he believes that all what the young Nigerians are calling for is a force, a police force that protects the people rather than brutalize or extort them. Nigerians have decided to respond since he, she thinks that the world is not watching. The world is listening. It's a global village. That's why sometimes when you begin to hear them saying the social media be must be regulated. It's for things like this. So that international bodies and the world, the world will not see what is going on because by the time you tweet, by the time you put anything on social media, the world gets to hear you. So those things they're trying to, you know, go, you know, part a bit here, cover a bit there, it gets open for the whole world to see. And now that gives us also room for the international people to also intervene from time to time over issues that are usually would not have been known if, if not for the help of social media. Well, one or two Nigerians have decided to respond to what um, the, the lawmaker said and also what the international journalists have also said. said, so don't mind them. Our leaders are clueless and the best they can do is to condemn the youth incompetent leaders bad mountain the youth because we demand for change before now we're actually known as lazy nigerian youths simply because we want to work and there are no jobs now she's saying that what can't we do tiling what can't we do plumb plumbing work what can't we do some menial jobs that's not an excuse are there good roads are there security to even do the plumbing work do you uh, is there is a regular electricity supply to even do the electrical work the tiling work with you after doing it you come back there there are no good roads there are no security and you're saying that we are we are lazy or we don't have an excuse that we are high on drugs are you serious the woman we we we, um, 
we we employ permit me to use that word employ because we voted you in you are actually serving the people it's not your other way around you are not our master you are there to serve now coming in to shoving your opinion through our throat is not only high-handed it's, it's actually you, you it shows that you lack empathy for the youth there are no jobs anywhere in some senior claims, there's some some level of um, payment, all right. So, you know, some little stipends, stipends here and there to keep the body, body, soul, and body alive. You say, okay, Nigerian, you should go into agriculture. They want to go into agriculture. There are no security. We keep hearing the issue of Fulani heads, man. How many of your children are even into the agriculture you're talking about? You're telling other people, okay, do tiling work, graduate, no problem. It's, it's, it's an honest job. Tiling work is a very honest job. Plumbing work is an honest job. But the truth be told, when you want to build your house, madam, say the truth, you get your best tiler, you import it from abroad. You get expertise, professional uh, expatriates from the from international bodies. You get it from, you travel abroad in diaspora and get them to come and build your house so you don't believe in the local labor because you believe that they are, they are not, um, they don't have the professional touch. You don't mind paying millions to bring them in. But yet you still not patronize that local plumber you are saying that they should become. Calling us that we are we are high on drugs. These guys have not been fair to the youth. What names have they not given to the youth? Yet these are people you have you have been you have been uh, called to serve. Empathy should say that you, you use of words should be should be such that you should show empathy. How come people who are so hungry? They don't have jobs. Even the, the talent job, after learning, who's going to even employ them? When you're looking for, when you now want to build out, do you bring those Nigerian youth who have learned those talent work to help tile your home? Let's be real. Let's, let's, Nigerian youth have been pushed to the world. Or they've been one of the best in the world. That there are no jobs. They've been patient. Some of them go to school, come back. Even the taxi job they do. You, after they finish doing the taxi, the last man, the rest, and all these uh, traffic people will not even allow them. The taxation on the road self will not allow you to see well. And these are the things we're talking about. And we're trying to let them know, say, look, look at our plight. This is our pain. And the next thing you say is that we are high on drugs. It had to take an international uh, journalist to let remind you that the corruption in Nigeria self will not even have, will not even allow the current you to have access to money to buy drugs. How much more to be high on it? What have they what have you asked for that is too big? That we want security, better life, better security system, so that when we do that our plumbing work, nobody will come in here and, and you no know, so nobody will come and you know exploit us or steal our monies. That when we go to the farm, we are sure that Fulani has no will not come and use their their cows to, to finish our crops as, as soon as they are growing. We can't even after cultivating, we can't even reap what we have sown. And by the time we want to protect our crops, they c c carry their, their ammunitions and guns to, 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 to do all manner. Have we asked for too much for security? No, we haven't. But let's hear what Nigerians are saying concerning this. I'm so pained. This one here is saying, thank you so much, sir. Actually, our, our leaders are the ones high on cheap co codeine. Even the COVID-19 palliative to be shared to the masses was stolen by those kleptomaniacs in power. This one here is saying this is the hallmark of the irresponsible, oppressive, and insensitive government that has brought this nation to the current state we find ourselves in. This one here is saying they can't stand the truth. They will be coming for your head soon. Oh, it is well. This one here is saying thank you. You have raised a valid point here. Most of our so-called leaders are not leaders but cheaters, political junters, and officers. Only a legislator will refer to the youth who organized a peaceful protest to demand for good governance as drug addicts and not the legislature. This one here is saying, finishing the lawmakers, their time is over. This one here is saying, a petitive calling hardworking youth crackhead. Make we wonder the kind people in government. Looking at the body language of the Lagos State members, it's obvious they are very disconnected from reality and were never voted into that seat. Most of them were rigged in. This one here is actually true. The, it's actually true because even the few good ones among them do not do anything about it. So, so tell me, what is the difference between them and them and then? This one here is saying posterity will not forgive any youth that votes these people in again. Have you heard? This one here say, okay, best oh best reply of the year. This one here say, it's a shame for this woman legislative who makes use of same youth for her constituency to get to power thanks to jimmy the cnn journalist for giving you that reply it shows our level of corruption 
exposure. This one here said they're all political hustlers who only care about themselves and their families. Why would she say she hardly allow her children to make use of phones? Ha 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 ha, capital lie. These NSAS protests have really exposed our political our poor political system and our leaders. God bless our country and save us all from clueless leaders. Amen. That's all going to wrap it up. Let's meet in the comment section. What's your take? Honestly, the world is a global village. There's nothing you do now that the world don't get to hear. Just make it, upload it on the internet, the world will get to see it. Let's meet in the comment section. Let's interact. Please, no hate What's your take on what Jimmy...